Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have one of the craziest news to go and cover over here when it comes to the Xbox Series X. Now, as you guys do or do not know, we've kind of mostly been out of a big, like, you know, restocking storage. Because the PlayStation 5 has been mostly readily available, the Xbox has been mostly readily available, but right now, these past few days, and as well, kind of maybe for the short, like, little foreseeable future, we're actually losing uh, pretty much all the stock. There is no stock available, and it's a little bit of a crisis going on right now when it comes to the Xbox Series X. Now, this is something I myself was really not expecting, mainly because I thought, like, the whole console shortage was pretty much over. In my mind, I was thinking we could be good, they had production issues, maybe on the occasional store, it might be sold on occasion, but right now it seems like that is not the case. Where the Xbox is now in crisis mode, it's pretty much out of stock, even on places like an Amazon, all throughout the world, and there's a few reasons why. So we're going to go talk about this and talk about the drama ongoing right now. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We also have the Howl link down below for the Samsung $50 sale over here for Samsung deals. We have the Twitter and Twitch room. We'll be live right now if you guys want to say hi and chill, and of course, subscribe if you guys are new. And let's go talk about something I would never Never expect to go and see what you guys might come go and do as I scroll on through right over here. This is nuts. Like, this is kind of giving me some, like, 2021, 2020 flashbacks right now of the pain and suffering where we had all these consoles technically out of stock. And I kind of thought this would never go and happen again. And as well, not to be too biased, I kind of thought it wouldn't, if anything, happen to Xbox again, too, as well. Mainly because the PlayStation's been selling a bit more. But as you guys can even read on the Amazon store itself right now, Temporary out of stock. We are working hard to be back in stock. Place your order and we'll email you. We have an estimated delivery date. You won't be charged until the item ships. So at least one nice thing for this is that uh, instead of them having like just the perpetual sold out, they're kind of just more so doing like a pre-order system because the add to cart button is still all right there. So it's really nice to see you still have a chance to go and rot that out. Uh, just good stuff. Like, we have a chance to still go and future sell. But the one big thing is that we were never actually expecting this to sell out. This is crazy to me to go and see. Mainly because, like, right now, we're just seeing drama everywhere. Like, we're seeing other various regions, too. If you guys look at even tweets, saying, like, the Xbox Series X. So, I just showed you guys the American Amazon. So, for us in America. Now, this is a reference for the UK. So the Xbox Series X is selling extremely fast in the UK that it's becoming out of stock nearly everywhere. Honestly, a major win from Xbox, backwards compatibility is amazing. And it kind of goes and stems the brand new Xbox thing, which we'll talk about in a second. But if you guys look through all the Xbox Series Xs, even in the UK, normal console. Temporary out of stock, normal console bundle with the Black Rollers controller. So people are even buying bundles as we speak to go get this. And bundle gaming, besides when they go on like a way cheaper price point, like we've been seeing for the PlayStation 5, has almost non been just not been existent. Like we just haven't really seen that too often. So as of right now, you guys can also see still temporary out of stock, temporary out of stock, all the stuff, temporary out of stock, special offer, not in stock, out of stock for delivery. Like we're quite literally not in stock. That's like, crazy to me to even see this. It's crazy for me to even consider this as even like an issue. You know, it's like nuts to me. It really is. So as you guys can go and see over here, like it's just out of stock. We also see articles too as well being like, yeah, the Xbox Series X and S consoles allegedly are sold out after their recent Call of Duty boom, as well as also the Activision boom too as well. So as you guys can maybe go and see for this one, uh, a lot of these games, if you guys missed it, all these classic Call of Duty games are actually able to be restored, and all the online versions are back in business. And this has been kind of crazy. So, like, right now, we were seeing some places with, like, hundreds of thousands of, apparently, people online playing the games themselves. And it's kind of cool because they just, like I said, they fix the games. And one big thing to know, it's always been a really big plus for Xbox, is their backwards capability. Now, that just basically just means, I'm sure you guys know, that you can play all the old school style games. They made it like systematically possible to make sure that happens no matter what. So you can still play all these old 360 games or even plug in your old 360 in the first place. So Microsoft's backwards capability allows these games to be played on modern consoles. So the brand new ones. Following the recent popularity of Call of Duty, many gamers appear to be rushing out to buy now these Xbox consoles. So according to various reports, the Xbox consoles are sold out in various parts of the world. Like we showed you guys, they're literally unironically sold out over here in America. You just can't get them in a lot of other various stores. People physically inside stores have now reported, like calling basically these places and asking employees, being like, hey, yo, random employee at GameStop, do you have any Xboxes? Nope, we're sold out for the week. And it's crazy that this is coming back in the first place. But you can also look at the tweet we just showed you guys over here too as well. So basically there's a report that even extra, they're all being sold out extremely quick over here in the UK and on top of that in America too as well. 
Charlie Intel, who's been mainly known for Call of Duty stuff. Additionally, Carly Intel reports similar information about the consoles. The Twitter account is known to cover Call of Duty updates and has been pro proven to be a reliable source of information. You guys, sure, you guys have seen them. And according to Charlie Intel, Xbox Series XX consoles have become much harder to find after the recent resurgence of older Call of Duty games. And if you're looking for an Xbox to play all these older Call of Duty games, we've been getting reports of stores are sold out of Xbox consoles. You may have better luck ordering online. So basically, kind of seems like the usual souls out in store. People want to go check online, and obviously this huge, massive resurgence is getting people, well, uh, just wanting to go play other games. Now, this also, I think, is maybe a part two as well. A lot of this stuff also popped up whenever the FTC case is seemingly won. Now, this may not be the biggest, biggest change-up, but typically whenever we have people who, like, almost have the FOMO. So let's go and say you've been hearing about this case in passing. Like, right now, if you guys have been following the news really heavily, the Xbox acquisition is still in limbo-ish. Like, it's still, like, delayed, but it's looking pretty good, so it's most likely going to go through. But if you're more of a normal consumer who is not really invested too much and you hear about this stuff throughout the past two years or so, you might be thinking, oh, my God. Xbox won the case, I should probably go buy my Xbox now, because I really like playing Call of Duty, as you guys know a lot of PlayStation gamers like Call of Duty, so they might be thinking, okay, I should probably get one now instead of any time in the future, just because why not? Like, at this point, might as well go get it. So, I think the combination of this huge Call of Duty resurgence, which has been awesome, like, you can literally go play Modern Warfare 2, a lot of folks have been playing Black Ops, even some of the old school Call of Duty, like, YouTubers, like, someone like Jev and stuff, who I used to watch back in the day, are now just basically remaking all these videos and reaching checking out and revitalizing all these servers, which just sounds fun. Like, it's just a fun, like, throwback callback. And once again, the big reason why a lot of folks are interested in this one, because you have these consoles with this backwards capability. So at this point, you can go buy an Xbox Series X and S, and you can still go and run all these old-school-style games, which is really, really cool. And on top of that as well, we also have the Game Pass drama, which I'm sure a lot of folks are still assuming that Call of Duty will end up on Game Pass. So once again, adds a lot more extra merit, a lot of extra mojo over there. But like I said, we've been hearing a lot of this news everywhere now. Like, Microsoft is already rubbing its hands after sparking life into the Call of Duty franchise this week, reigniting classic games and servers. It's now indirectly boosted the sales of the Xbox consoles, as we keep on mentioning for the point of selling out. So right now apparently has the sales on Amazon have risen by 84%. That is insane. That is like, this is like really, really crazy numbers to go and see after all this time. And of course, right now, there's apparently more people on Black Ops 2 than Halo Infinite. And of course, this is why it's nice. Halo was always a big competitor with Call of Duty. Obviously, Call of Duty is a little bit bigger. But when it comes to this stuff, if you own both, who cares? The only thing you're still curious on is, well, Battlefield. And Battlefield still does have connections with Game Pass. And as for EA Passes, all that type of stuff too as well. But yeah, a lot, dude, there's thousands upon millions of people who are either trying to get their consoles or like making money off of it or whatever it might be. On top of this, too, as well, it's just a huge spike. Like, these numbers are insane to go and see. They say, in the New York City area, none of the GameStops have brand new Series X consoles in stock, one fan added on Twitter. The classic throwback games have only been activated on Xbox by Microsoft. So anyone on PlayStation can't do it. If you're on PC, can't do it, which basically kind of send the PC side. But I mean, it makes sense for PlayStation, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's, I mean, I want to play. I don't have an Xbox Series X. I'm a little bit jealous. I want to go, like, re-plug in my 360 if that somehow works as well and see if I can still somehow boot up those servers. I mean, I'm a PC guy. I wish they would have worked on PC. PlayStation, why would they want to do extra things for their old servers and pay the money for it? They don't own them. It makes sense. Like, I get that too as well. But it's crazy because this Call of Duty is one of the biggest games on the planet and a lot of folks have this massive nostalgia-ness for Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and Black Ops as well. Myself included. I grew up on Modern Warfare 2. It was one of my favorite games back in the day. I had days playing that game. It was one of my favorite games back in the day. And it's also crazy too as well. Because we're just seeing, like, the idea of, like, Microsoft doing good. Like, if Microsoft can do stuff like this, I'll imagine what if they did, like, an old-school bundle. What if they did a lot of the actual proper remakes? Like, how we have a Modern Warfare 2 remake? I imagine they did, like, a legitimate proper Modern Warfare 2 remake from the OG-style game. Because they clearly see people want to play these games. And if I see this, then I would love this. Like, this is the type of stuff I would want Microsoft and Xbox to do and kind of revitalize old-school gaming. If they have the money, the servers, and people want to pay the money for Game Pass and play these old-school-style games and fix up the servers, you want to watch. But I'm still never the biggest fan of monopolies and antitrust issues, but at the same time, I'm cool with this. Like, I want them to have these player bases being really big. So I want to hear your thoughts, because I, like I said, would never have expected 
to go and see these Call of Duty, just for violation first and foremost. But part two, the Xbox Series X is unironically being out of stock. Like, the fact that they're literally out of stock is nuts to me to think, especially because I thought we'd be done with this. So, I want to know your thoughts. Are you guys going to go try to get an Xbox yourself? Do you guys care? Do you guys not care? Are you guys happy you guys got one a while ago? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you check out the Samsung Howl link down below in the comment section and description. Go get your $50 off your initial nice promotion. We also do have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to hang out and chill over there. And, of course, the Amazon links for the consoles. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.